angle measures and segment lengths. Okay, in this first problem, we have a circle with two chords that intersect inside the circle. So to find x, we are finding the angle on the inside, so we're going to have the angle equal one-half of the sum of the intercepted arcs, which is the 60 and the 78. And then we're going to solve. So x equals one-half of 60 plus 78, which is 138. Cut that in half, x equals 69 degrees. Uh, the next one, we are trying to find uh, y, and that's dealing with the segment lengths. So for this one, we multiply the two segment parts and then set them equal. That would be 8 times y equals 5 times 2. 8 times y equals 10, and then you divide by the 8, and y equals uh, 5 fourths, or 1.25, either one. This next example, the two secant lines are intersecting outside the circle. So when I'm finding x, my angle is going to equal half of the difference of the intercepted arcs. So the difference of the big one, 100, minus the small one, 30. x equals 1 half. 100 minus 30 is 70. X is equal to half of 70, which is 35 degrees. Next part, we need to find the Y, which is dealing with the segment length. So you're, we're going to have the sum of the secant, of the two segments of the secant, 5 plus Y multiplied times the outer portion of the secant line equal to the outer portion of the secant line times the sum, which is 4 plus 10. So that would be 25 plus 5y equals 4 times 14. 10 plus 4 is 14. Then when we solve, we have 5y plus 25 equals 56, subtract the 25, and 5y equals 31, divide by 5, y equals about 6.2. And that would be the final answer. For this next one, we have the lines intersecting outside the circle once again. So to find the angle Y, you're going to take one half of the big arc, big intercepted arc, 95, minus the small intersected arc, 35. So Y equals half of 60 and y is equal to 30 and the next part to find x in this case we have a tangent line so we get the tangent squared equal to the sum of the secant x plus 8 times the outside part, which is the 8. 100 equals 8x plus 64. Subtract the 64 over. And you get 
36 equals 8x, divide by the 8, and x equals 4.5. For this next example, I'm going to start by finding x and y. They're going to be the same because we have vertical angles here and here. So I'm going to find, let's just call it w right there, using my intercepted arcs of 112 and 110. So we would have w equals half of the sum of the intercepted arcs, 112 plus 110. So w equals half of, so w equals half of 222, which is 111. Okay, well, if w equals 111, both x and y are going to be supplementary to w. So 180 equals x plus W. So you're going to subtract the 111 from the 180 and X equals 69. Okay, once you have X, then you also have Y. Y is also equal to 69 because of the vertical angles. Uh, and then we need to find the Z. They are intersecting, the two chords are intersecting inside the circle. So 6Z equals 3 times 10. 3 times 10 is 30. 6Z equals 30 divided by the 6. And Z is equal to 5. So X is 69, Y is 69, and Z is 5. That concludes the practice for angle measures and segment lengths. You should now be able to complete the worksheet and be prepared for your quiz.